Good afternoon. Well, late afternoon, everyone. T Speaker 222 XRP Future Millionaire with the side bet on XOM and Future Digibyte OG. <clears throat> so it's 421 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the East Coast in the United States of America. It's rainy, windy. And for the members of Tom's Army, go check out the members area. I did an exclusive update for you on Theta and T Fuel. I know a lot of you in my audience. Our big fans of both of those, it was about a four and a half minute update for just the members of Tom's Army. So if you're interested in joining Tom's Army and getting the two exclusive updates a day, about, there might be more, give or take. But to see the exclusive content, right now it's Theta and T-Fuel. Go take a look. And that's for the members only of Tom's Army at $9.99 a month. There's 157 members. I misspoke earlier. Went from 156 to 157 today. So I do appreciate the new member. So, in today's update, I would like to cover XRP, obviously, and XLM, but first, instead of going over the XRP news, I've got a nice setup with XLM news. We're going to go over it briefly, like we did with XRP. This will be our new section, as we do on every video now. And I just want to go over the coin or, uh, XLM chart news, the technical analysis side of it. So, XLM's current market cap is $40.17 billion. We have 45.26 million over the last 40 or, uh, 24 hours. The, the 24 hour open was 0.369686. 24 hour change on 0.011. 52 week low of 7.2 cents. 52 week high of 79.7. All time high 79.7s. And year to date, we're up 197.72%. So not too bad. Total supply is 105.44 billion. Max supply is 50 billion. 24 hour. Value transacted, 89.11 million. 30-day volatility, 0.882037. 24-hour transaction, transacted, value transacted, 89, or we already did that. 24-hour transaction count, 89.11 million. 24-hour average transaction fee, 0 0.000026, so very cheap to use. About stellar, it is a currency. Notice it says currency. Value proposition payments. And now we'll go over just a little bit about what XLM Stellar Lumens is in case you guys don't know. And then we're getting into the charts. Lumen XLM is the native cryptocurrency for Stellar, an open source blockchain payment system. The purpose of Stellar is to connect financial institutions via the blockchain and provide cheap transactions in developing markets. Judd McHale, a longtime cryptocurrency entrepreneur who founded Bitcoin Exchange, Mt. Gox, and co-founded blockchain-based payment system Ripple Labs created Stellar in July of 2014. Stellar uses a federated Byzantine agreement, FBA algorithm, instead of a traditional mining network to validate transactions. Since the transfer of lumens doesn't require approval from traditional cryptocurrency miners, the Stellar network enables quicker transactions than some other blockchain-based systems. So that is very good information. So if we want to go over the market analysis, we've got over the last week up 0.08%, one month up 38.5%, six months down 9.14%, year to date up 188%, and one year's time up 357%. So not bad. So I hope that helps. Just some latest uh, numbers by the books for XLM so you can see exactly what's going on. Now, in the XRP chart, and I want to thank everybody for viewing my last video, but the video before that is approaching 3,000 views. I've only had one other video reach 3,000 views, so I am tremendously thankful for your guys' continued support. Make sure to hit that like button on this video so we can continue to trend up even higher. XRP has been very stagnant as we talked about in the three hour, or the one, three, five, fifteen. I want to do it, I think, in the five minute because there's just no volume coming in and you can see it. So in the 15 even. So like we talked about earlier, we're going to be trading between here, but we haven't even been able to get up. So we're, we're in a neutral continuation pattern. Like I said earlier, it might continue like this and then we'll ride this uptrend to $1.13. If this doesn't do anything here and it rolls over, you could expect another retest back down around that $1.05 and that... I don't know if it would hold, but this doesn't look like it wants to come back down. Even with no volume, though, we've had a low volume kick up, but it looks like it really wants to trend up to that dollar thirteen. But with the way this is trending, ladies and gentlemen, you have to be cautiously optimistic. 
But also, if you're not in a position, this is not the time to buy. I would wait for it to break a dollar ten and hold that, or break a dollar thirteen and hold. So then you know at least you have a guaranteed move coming. The worst thing that could happen here is that Bitcoin was a fake out and it comes back down. Now, as you should see, everybody in my audience, and don't take this lightly, Bitcoin had 62991 It had it pretty good. Well, now it's maintained and came down under that incredibly important resistance support line. It is currently using it as resistance. As to where all day it was using it as support. That is a key fact because the volume has not been great. And if this is the end of it, you've got an M on the top and you could very well have finished off and now you can come back down in this direction if that's the case. So pay very close attention to that 62991 As I've said, my lines are time tested. Lewis, just because we're professional, Lewis, we should all be professional in here, Lewis. We have to go between the lines, Lewis. How else do I know if it's support and resistance, Lewis? Thank you, Lewis, for giving me that intel, Lewis. So anyhow, back on track. So, like Lewis said, if we don't break 62,991 in an upward fashion and use it as uh, support, we're not going to be able to get up to 64,000. If we use this as underneath resistance, we're going to have to come back here at least to 62 where this started, and then possibly worse down to here. So that's what we're looking at if it, uh, if it uses that as resistance. So that is a very bad sign for anybody who's in crypto right now. The fact that Bitcoin is trying to use it as resistance, I'm not going to say that's confirmed because it's a very small time frame. We'll see how the daily close goes today. So like we were saying with XRP, it very well just could be trickling out this right side and then collapse even farther. So I would say what I'm looking at in front of me, ladies and gentlemen, is not the most bullish of scenarios. The volume's crashing on the price coming down, so that's not terrible. It's just the movement we made to get up was not the best of motions. So that's basically what we're looking at. A retest up here to try to get the 113 after breaking that. And this is where I would personally buy in if I was looking, if it could hold that 110. But I wouldn't even buy there. I'm just saying I wouldn't buy right here. If we could hold that 108.5 retest again in the three minute, that could absolutely be a play. Me personally, when it comes to XRP and XLM, I'm on the sidelines. I actually am in a trade, a couple of them, but one of them is in the, well, most of them are in the stock market. I'm in fuel cell. I bought $2,500 worth at $7.28 earlier, so that was a pretty quick, you know, little move up. And then as, um, IQ knows, we're in wheat and precious metals, and we're up a couple percent over the last couple days. IDEX is up a little bit. I am actively in iBio as well in the stock market. At 77 cents, I have 3,000 shares. So that's barely up. So anyhow, just to look at what I'm doing in the stock market. Uh, let's see, it now XLM. So with XLM, as we've talked about, we've got very heavy uh, resistance in this area. We talked about how when we came up there, that could be the end of this pattern. And it's either gonna make a break for it, ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna ride this 38.3. And then be able to move up to 39 and ultimately get up to 41.5. Or this section that we've drawn out long ago and we'll go over it. We'll once again hold up and this will be the ending point. And we'll have to come down for more resist or more support, which is at 35.1 cents. As I just said with our other stock, Bitcoin, our other crypto, we came to the bottom side and now we're riding to the bottom side when this should be uptrending support, not uptrending resistance. And now we're getting caught right here. And I said, this is exactly what we don't want to happen. Because if it does, we'll come right back to 35.1. So in my honest opinion, I would wait to see if you break this cross and get to the top side of that 38.5 and especially 39 cents. Because if you break 40 cents and hold it, you know, we've got room there as well. But this is not the time to be taking a gamble, especially with the current market conditions. Unless you have faith that XLM will break out of this, which I'm not saying it's not going to, I can see a scenario where it breaks up here, but it's very dangerous. So if you're going to get into a position, make sure to have an exit strategy. DGB, we've been watching this as well. This doesn't look great. This could be very well the start of a topping reversal. It came down under this uptrending support. It was in a channel and in a much larger symmetrical triangle. And now, as long as well with this, 
XRP, XLM, Bitcoin, we're all trading on the bottom side of our chosen support. XRP wants to be on the top side at one time. So these are all riding the bottom side of this uptrending resistance that should be uptrending support. So these are very dangerous times. If it does this and then it just shoots down, well now you got a double bottom at 4832. And with the fees with Digibyte, unless you're a long holder, it's simply not worth it. I want to thank each and every one of you for taking the time to watch my video. Make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And also, make sure to share this far and wide. And let's see if we can get more videos to hit 2,800 views. I still can't believe that the video yesterday got 2,800 views two videos ago. So check it out. Also, if you are interested in joining Tom's Army to get the exclusive content, just prior to me releasing this video, I did have some exclusive content for the members only. 12 people have watched it so far, in the, but it's T Fuel and Theta, and that is the second exclusive content video put out in the last 24 hours. So if you want to see more content, I highly encourage you to join for $9.99 a month. That is the easiest way to help me continue to make this content free so everybody can see the three updates today. And then if you want a little bit more on the side, join Tom's Army, check out the members exclusive area.